All right, everyone, welcome to the Brad and Kyle channel, and today we are going to be talking about changing bowling balls and how you should do it. Stay tuned. All right, Kyle, so on the topic of bowling balls, it's a tricky conversation because bowling balls are just tricky. Sometimes you get this really strong, high-performance bowling ball that'll actually hook less than like a $149 weaker bowling ball. And we're going to get into why, but in this video, Kyle has three bowling balls out here. Supposed to mimic like a three bowling ball arsenal. A little bit, we yeah. We got three different kinds that he's going to throw, and then we're going to go through and we're going to throw each one, and we're going to figure out which ball he should throw and why. So, Kyle, what bowling balls do you have on you? Yeah, so the first ball out of the bag. So I like to structure my bowling balls so I can keep in order of what to change as from pretty much strongest early rolling to weakest get down the lane more. So the first ball we have here is the new Zen Soul. Now, this is a symmetrical bowling ball. It's a hybrid, but it's actually pretty early for me, and based on how I drilled it, I drill a lot of my stuff like five inches from my pap. If you guys know what that is, this one's about four and a half. So earlier rolling layout on a ball that's pretty strong. Yes, so, strong core, so strong cover. We're getting lined up here. We're just gonna throw a shot, see how this ball rolls, and then compare it to the other ones. So a little bit left here, and let's see what this ball does. Oh God. Okay, and so in general, we normally start with the strongest bowling ball out of our bag for a couple reasons. For one, when you're bowling on, I don't know, I guess a sports shot or anything, the stronger balls are often more controllable because they hook earlier and then they hook less down lane, so it's a smoother shape sometimes. Um, and for two, it's almost impossible to get an idea of what to do or to bowl well when your ball doesn't hook. So it's just good to start with the ball that hooks just so you can get just so making sure the ball hooks so you can get a good idea of what the lane pattern's doing. So you can know a ball to throw. Yeah, so the first shot, I grabbed it a bunch, but it definitely hooked a lot, didn't get down the lane. And I wanna not grab it, but be aggressive. So let's throw one more shot here, see if this ball gets down the lane any easier. And so no, it did not get down the lane. No, that ball is hooking <laughs> as soon as it's, I don't want to open my angles up crazy on this pattern. I want I, That's probably not what I'm going to try yet. I'm going to try playing something similar, but a ball that yep. gets down the lane that doesn't hook. So Yeah, now it's clear that we shouldn't throw that ball. I mean, you're 0 for 2. Um, there's clearly too much hook for that ball, the stronger ball. So now we're going to go in progression. We're going to go from a strong ball to a not so strong. Yeah, so it's a UFO alert, shiny, asymmetrical ball. Um, this should get down the lane a little bit easier, and it would be a step down for me from- Definitely a step down. The Zen Soul. And so that one actually hooked a little bit too much too, but to give you details on that ball, that ball's still a pretty strong ball. The coordinates really strong. As a matter of fact, probably stronger than the Zen Soul. Zen Soul has a really strong cover around it which makes the ball basically not go down the lane. Even though it has a, a strong core in the UFO alert, it's got a cleaner, what we call a cleaner, weaker cover on it. So it just, it gets, it gets through the hook spots of the lane so much better. So it just makes you feel like the ball's not gonna overhook as much. So I kind of saw with the UFO alert, it got down the lane easier. I could maybe move further left, try to catch some more oil, open up my angles. But sometimes with asymmetric balls, I don't really like to do that. They kind of lose energy trying to really get in. So a ball way down in progression is going to be this Wolverine. Now this is another symmetrical ball. Um, the layout is a layout that goes longer for me. So when there's a lot of friction, I can throw this ball. It's a good option. So it's pretty far down. Let's see what this ball does compared to the other ones. Okay. So I am expecting this ball to get down lane a lot easier. Oh, especially when I shove it right. All right, so you definitely shoved that one right, but it didn't go high. <laughs> it, did. 
There's no chance any ball is going high from there. <laughs> God. All right, let's throw another one from there. Yeah, we'll throw another one. And hey, when you're when you're going through, it's not necessarily the easiest thing to go from one ball to another. I mean, you're going. I mean, sometimes it even feel a little different. The grips feel a little different. Whatever. So bad shots happen, even for the best of them. And me. The cheetah champion. Yeah. Still didn't hook. This is cool, because now that ball's hooking too little. Would you rather try and get that ball to hook or go back to something that hooks a little more? No, I think if I was wanting to play, this ball makes the pattern feel completely different. That ball is meant to not hook so much. It's so drastic from the other balls that the other ones feel like, oh God, like I have no hold. This one, I think I can even move further right, get more on top of it. Yeah, so even though that ball 210'd, he would rather try and get lined up with that than go high with the other two. Because when your ball is going too high, there's not much you can do. Yeah, I hate going high. So we're going to move a little further right. Yeah. All right, there we go. So that ball gets down the lane easy. I mean, that's how much cleaner that ball is. is you went high, high, and then you actually had to move your feet back a little bit right. Yeah, way right. Which is crazy, the difference between the two bowling balls. Yeah, so when you're going through and trying to decide what ball to use, A, it's good to have a versatile arsenal, but B, you can see how just changing the bowling ball made the pattern feel completely different. I went from not being able to get a ball to hold to now I can move right and I have plenty of room to operate on the lane. Yeah, and that, that Zen Soul, just to go over like the difference in bowling balls, it's a uh, symmetrical cover with a strong, symmetrical core with a strong cover. The UFO Alert is asymmetric core with a weaker cover, and then the Wolverine is a symmetric cover with a clean, co or symmetric core with a clean cover. So just the overall uh, formula of the Wolverine is just so much weaker than the other two, which is why it allowed him to play the lanes a little bit more normal rather than trying to like stand really far left and try and get a ball not to hook that's designed to hook, which is never a good thing. Absolutely. All right, so like we said earlier in the video, when we're talking about bowling balls, it's such a tricky and difficult scenario to talk about because the, the lane pattern dictates so much. So much. Your body and your mindset and your mind uh, set at the time matters, how you're throwing it matters. But when we're talking about switching bowling balls and trying to find the right one, oftentimes we're really quick to blame ourselves when we're bowling bad. And if, if, if your scores aren't very high or you think you're throwing bad shots, a lot of times that is the bowling ball. And a lot of times when you're throwing bad shots, you could be throwing bad shots because the bowling ball is giving you such bad ball reaction on a pattern that hooked too much for a ball that hooked too much like the Zen Soul right now. It doesn't matter how good you throw it. Right. That ball is not matching up correctly, so it's just not going to work. No. And so that's just the way a lot of times bowling works is you think you're throwing a bad, but really the ball is giving you nothing. And so that's just some perspective on how to, how to look at bowling balls and how to change. Make sure in your arsenal that you have different bowling balls, asymmetric and symmetric. So having the right ball is extremely important. And actually in our Brad and Kyle membership, if you get a yearly deal, we will give you any storm roto 900 global ball of choice which is a nice perk to have because you can't have you never have too many bowling balls drop ship straight from storm so, so thank you guys for watching the video click the link in the description if you're interested in that membership like and subscribe we'll see y'all later later